I see the tank. Oh my gosh. We've got him. We've got him. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Landon Share, and today we have a super cool video. Not the normal content you guys are going to see here on the channel. It actually goes hand in hand with our last video, which was telling you guys about the pool pond. You'd seen it before in another episode where we pulled the turtle out of here. A big old turtle got in here. Watch the last episode if you guys want to learn more about this crazy project. But today, we're showing you a different pond. My friend Jake over here, say hello Jake. My friend Jake has a monster catfish. Well, half size catfish, he's about half grown. And he's outgrown his tank and he wants to bring him over here to the ponds that we have. This pond is currently empty, except for a couple tadpoles in it. So, why not introduce him here, then we'll move him to probably this pond or one of the bigger ones. I can't wait to bring him over here. But first thing we gotta do is set him up. If you guys like this fish content, let me know. Let me know if I should do more. This is just my personal stuff. My dad really takes care of it. It's kind of a mess right now, but it'll be cleaned up if you guys like seeing it more and I can come over here and work on it. Anyway, the first thing that we have to do involves this net and scooping some fish out of here. We have a lot of little fish in here that we're gonna add to this pond so that way when the catfish is added, he can actually feed on those fish. That way it makes it easier to take care of. The fish will hide in some of the vegetation that we'll put in there. The catfish can eat as he pleases, as he would in the wild, and it takes less maintenance. So we have a surplus of fish in here. Let's catch some out. We got some fish down here, if you can see closely, some yellow cichlids. We don't want to catch the cichlids. We like those ones more. Jake, you want to throw in a scoop of food there? All right, let's see. Oh, they're coming up. They're attacking it. Throw it more in the open there. All right, look at all those fish. Look at them all coming out. You wouldn't even see them unless you threw the food. Might have to clear some of this stuff out so we can enjoy them more. What we want are those orange ones. Those ones breed really quickly and they're gonna do really well in their new setup. So we want those orange ones there. Let's see if we can get some. There's a big one there. Oh, we got them. We got two. Look at that. We got some food there. So there we go. Got our little fish and that is going to be perfect. Let's move them over. Put those guys in there. Oh, we missed him, but we got a cichlid. He's gonna go back. Oh, we got him. Look at that, we got three. We got a little bit of algae there. Look at that. These guys are going to be perfect. We're gonna have to get a couple more scoops like this, and then the little pond will be ready. We're gonna add some plants so that way they can hide, that way the big catfish can hide. Then we're gonna go over and get our new little friend. Obviously, there's a surplus of this stuff in here, so we can just pull it out. I think that shall be perfect. That'll look great. This will give the little fish enough places to hide if you come over here. Remember, we're just doing this kind of quickly just so that we can run over there because this catfish needs to be moved ASAP. He has outgrown his setup. I think that's gonna be really good. Let's head over and get this catfish. And we are here. As you can see, we have the equipment in the back, but I don't know exactly what we're gonna need. Obviously the cooler is to hold the water and hold the catfish for transportation. Jake's grabbing that. We gotta roll that on back there like so. This is gonna be the catfish tank for uh, transportation. All right, so we got that. Jake, I have a bunch of nets here. How big is this catfish? I haven't seen it. I've only seen videos. He Snapchats me pictures of him and he's getting bigger. We've actually been planning this for a couple months now and he really is too big for this tank now. He's got to get a new home. Is he, you think he would fit in this? No. He's not, not. He's not going to fit in this net. Oh my gosh. Guys, I don't even know how big he is. I'll show you a picture of when Jake first got him. I guess it's a video clip right here. This is when Jake first got this guy. We'll roll that again you know, when we see him so you guys can do a size comparison. He's in the same tank as in that video. Are we gonna need this? I mean, we might. I, okay, I think this is gonna be fine. We'll bring back this one just in case. So we have medium size and the monster net. Jake. I think I think this is gonna be I think this is gonna be big enough. 
We have the siphon tube so we can get some water in there. Let's go see how big this monster catfish is. We're walking back here now. I see the tank. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. This guy is a monster. Let's see if he'll follow us up to the top of the tank here. Look at the shoulders on that thing. Now Jake, what type of catfish? This is a hybrid red tail. Hybrid red tail uh, tiger shovel nose catfish. You can see he looks more like a tiger shovel nose like this guy here. He looks more like a tiger shovel nose catfish like this right here. On that dorsal fin and the tail he has those red fins like the red tail catfish right here. He was this big not too long ago, probably a year ago and now he's just turned into a monster. You can see the size comparison to that log. That's the same log, this is the same tank and he is just outgrowing it which is why we need to get him. So the first step is to wash out this cooler. We did that, we filled it with a little bit of water. We'll shut this now and roll it over to the tank. Now the next step, obviously we got this tubing running down into the cooler. We'll take this like this, start the pumping of it. There we go. There you go. Now she's flowing. We'll pump a little bit of this water out so he's used to the temperature and the quality of the water. It's mixed with a little bit of well water, which is what's used to refill this. That way he's perfectly acclimated to here, and then we can acclimate him to his new home. Once we get this water out, it's time to get him. Move that to the side. Guys, look how big this guy is. Actually, in the Amazon, we were down there. That's where these guys are native to. I don't know if they have hybrids that naturally breed there, if that's something that comes from captivity. I'm not really too um, educated on these, this species, but when we were down in the Amazon, we ate tiger shovel nose catfish, and it was really good. It's what the locals eat there. It's just their way of life. We're not gonna be eating this guy, though. Um, there's plenty of other things for us to eat. This guy's gonna live a great life. We have the medium-sized net here, and I wanna do this without being too stressful on the fish. The easier the move, the more comfortable he's gonna be. Let's see if we can do this the first try. So he's feeling with his little feelers. He's like, I don't like that net. I'm gonna move out of the way. He thinks it's you know, a predator coming after him, which rightfully so. If I can get him to move a little bit, he might move right into there. Okay, we've got him. We've got him. We've got him. This is a long net. Oh. We got him, we've got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's make this, let's make this quick. He's calm, he's gonna go in here. It's all right, buddy. You're good. Woo -hoo. Look at that, guys. <sighs> Big old catfish. I didn't want to stress him out too much. That was a hard capture. I'm gonna shut this for a second so we can roll it out into the light and you can see just how pretty this guy is. Now this is not a full-size catfish. He's only about half size. If you saw in the video where Limbani, the chimpanzee, and I are feeding fish, you'd see some bigger tiger shovel nose and red tails in there. I don't want to stress him out too much. I kind of wanted to lift him up to show you guys him. But he's being pretty calm. He's not freaking out in here. The corners are rounded, so it helps him to swim a little bit easier. Let's get him home so he's super comfortable. I cannot wait to see him in his new setup. Guys, you get it. Comment down below a name for this guy right now. Remember, he's a tiger shovel nose catfish and a red tail catfish combined. So maybe something with those ideas mixed together. He is just beautiful. Jake, thank you so much. Let's get him home. We've got our new friend now. Oh, this is getting heavy. We're almost there. One, two, and three. Oh. There we go, let's set up the bubbler. We've got our pump set up back here. Safety first. We don't want it sliding around and coming undone. Now we just drop that right in there. And that is gonna keep him alive for the ride. Let's head home. We've got him back. Let's see how he's doing here. Oh my gosh, moment of truth, open it up. Looks like he's doing good. You made it home, buddy. Now it's the final stretch. Let's close this thing up here. One, two. Oh. We've carried him back here. 
He's doing good, as we said. Jake's got the bucket because what we have to do is acclimate him to this water quality. The water temperature is a little bit different. It's pretty similar, but the quality uh, from the water that he's coming from is gonna be a little different and we don't wanna shock him, right? So he's gonna take a bucket there, get a little scoop, and then after that, I have to set up a power head and some aeration because this waterfall behind me, there's a waterfall in those plants. It's supposed to work to circulate this water. It's not working right now. Hopefully we'll get that working soon. Because of that, got to get some circulation in there so he can breathe, so he can be happy, so he can be healthy. Let's dump this water in there. A little tadpole. It's alive! It's alive! We've got the waterfall running now. It should be a little more pressurized as it goes on. We just fixed the issue with it, which means we don't have to run a power head. We fixed that problem as we were trying to set that up. It's time to move him in. He's acclimated. We've given him a sufficient amount of time. This should be a lot easier. It's okay, buddy. He knows something's up, so he might freak out. And these guys have gnarly spikes on them. Ooh, a little splash there. Let's get him out quick. There he is, just hanging out in the net. Lower him in here. Don't want to talk about him too much. I don't want to shock him again. Let's let him out. There he goes into his new home. Look at that. Wow, guys. He looks to be liking it. He's sitting down, but he's exploring. Now he's slowly moving through the algae on the bottom and he's gonna use that algae to hide. Look at him. Look how happy he is. He's moving around. He's happy. And you guys will be updated on him shortly. He's going to get massive and eventually he'll have to move in there. Whew. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I'm tired. Jake, thank you so much, man. Little donation to the Land and Foundation. He's gonna be so happy in here. Can't wait to see him every day. And I can't wait to see him in there. If you guys wanna see that, subscribe to the channel. If you stuck around, thank you so much. Like the video if you did. Comment down below what your favorite part was and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.